Mrs. Donato. Thank you, President. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Saad, for your presentation. Well, I need to uh, wrap up uh, uh, very briefly uh, what you told us. Well, uh, CP was founded in Davos. The founders are two non-EU governments, Norway and India, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, another foundation which is Welcome, founded in 1936, which is today an investment fund, uh, where the board uh, has, a, has a chair, Julia Gilliard, the former president, uh, premier of Australia, and also a still member of the WEF, uh, where she's chair of the Global Partnership for Education. So she's uh, in the WEF uh, again, and WEF is one of the founding members. So, um, so far, um, the CP, as you told us, uh, has the purpose of uh, collecting money in uh, uh, simple words, because uh, uh, it deals only with financing uh, research and development uh, to produce uh, um, second generation vaccines to face, to tackle a new uh, global crisis uh, given from outbreaks of uh, uh, diseases, infective diseases. Well, um, as we know, and I today uh, sent to Mrs. President uh, uh, a letter with uh, attached the documents, uh, bioxiv uh, uh, research, uh, assessing that uh, the origin of COVID outbreak was uh, a laboratory virus uh, created in a laboratory with a gain of function uh, research. Uh, as we know that, uh, uh, I think that expecting new pandemics as the one we are living, uh, have lived so far, uh, could not be a problem if we just forbid uh, gain of function reserve, uh, research all over the world. And uh, all of this money collected by private and public entities, public money, which is given to, uh, at the end, goes to multinational pharmaceutical uh, uh, companies that are not willing to share their patents, their IP, to other producers. So there is no, uh, you know, public interest purpose. It's just profit. They they collect huge profits. So. Uh, I think that, um, and also global manufacturing you were talking about is always reserved to the same multinationals. So my question is, why should public money be collected and be given just for big profit purpose and not for public interest? Thank you. Thank you. So just to clarify, um, we are, um, the founding partners were um, a few governments um, and um, uh, two philanthropies, but um, the, that, the, the, the number of uh, governments um, expanded and expanded uh, quite a bit during the COVID pandemic. So we were funded and we have an investors council that has um, full visibility of the portfolio um, uh, uh, and uh, to create an accountability mechanism. Uh, during the COVID-19 outbreak, I think we ended up having um, over uh, almost uh, third, 20, between 25 uh, uh, to 28 um, uh, countries that gave funding from low and middle income, uh, middle income and high income countries and several European countries, uh, including Italy, Germany, um, the UK. Um, uh, Lithuania, uh, Luxembourg, um, uh, Spain made a pledge as well. Uh, so several European countries, Ser Serbia gave us financing. So several European countries also gave financing to CEPI because we were, uh, this was pre-HERA being um, set up. Um, and we were the only organization that was um, really um, <clears throat> including equitable access right from the get-go and with that in mind that nobody should be left behind and access to LMEX. So the decision making is, is sits with um, advise, a scientific advisory committee um, and experts um, and there was an external um, research uh, development and manufacturing committee with international experts that were um, not 
<clears throat> not direct, they were not sitting on pharma in pharmaceutical uh, bodies. There was no conflict of interest, but they were ex pharma um, ex uh, experts um, with product development and vaccine development expertise that were helping us look and and do did the due diligence on the investments. And every single contract had speed, scale, and access as some of the key criteria that were um, the guiding making those investments. So I do want to highlight that we are a, a public-private partnership, no private sector financing, as in no pharmaceutical industry financing comes in um, uh, to CEPI. Uh, and uh, 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 there is private sector that is non from non-pharmaceutical companies, but they do not sit in any of the governance bodies. They are donations and then they just, um, they, they, they are contributed. But largely the funding by far, billions and billions. So I think uh, from, from a few smaller foundations and maybe some uh, corporate social responsibility like Citibank, for example, that amount was 25 million. But the large amount, largest amount of funding is from over 25 countries uh, that came in for COVID-19 to make up our 1.8 billion in resources. And, and um, just wanted to clarify that.